In this video, we will take a peek into the life of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, one of the richest royals in the world and the ruler of Dubai. Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was born on the 15th of July, 1949, to Sheikh Rashid bin Saeed Al Maktoum and Sheikha Latifa bint Hamdan Al Nahyan. From the age of four, he was privately tutored in Arabic and Islamic studies. In 1955, Sheikh Mohammed started his formation at Almeida School. At the age of 10, he moved to Al Shab School, and in 1966, he attended the Bell Education Trust's English Language School in the United Kingdom. After the passing of his elder brother, Mohammed bin Rashid became the ruler of Dubai in 2006. The next day, he was named the new Vice President of the United Arab Emirates. In addition to his career in politics, Sheikh Mohammed is responsible for the growth of numerous economic assets in Dubai. These businesses are managed by two companies, Dubai World and Dubai Holding. Dubai World was established as a holding company in 2006. It consolidated assets such as logistics company DP World and property developer Nikhil Properties. Since then, it has expanded and now has investments in countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and South Africa. Sheikh Mohammed has proven to be a successful businessman, and he is the man behind the launch of Emirates Airlines. Some other major developments by Sheikh Mohammed includes the incredible Dubai Hotel, the Burj Al Arab. The hotel is managed by Jumeirah, Sheikh Mohammed's hotel management company that he launched in 1997, which is now part of Dubai Holding. Another iconic estate development project the Sheikh is responsible for is the Palm Islands Project. The Sheikh is also known for his charity as he established the Mohammed bin Rashid Global Initiatives, a charitable foundation that consolidates 33 other charitable foundations and entities. As of January 2023, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's net worth is estimated to be roughly $14 billion. When you are the ruler of Dubai, Vice President, Prime Minister, and Minister of Defense of UAE, you have billions of dollars at your fingertips. With that kind of money, you should expect that the Sheikh would have some very expensive real estate and other properties. Of course, you're correct. The primary residence of Sheikh Mohammed and his royal family is the Zabil Palace in Dubai, estimated to be worth around $500 million. The palace was built sometime in the 1960s and was designed by Otto Ballard, who is responsible for the famous clock tower and the Dubai Zoo. But when you are royalty, just one palace isn't good enough. The Sheikh practically has his own British empire, as he owns roughly 100,000 acres of land in the UK, which is actually more than what the King of England personally owns. However, his most well-known property is the Long Cross Estate in Surrey, valued at around $90 million. That kind of money is like pocket change for a man like the Sheikh. The next notable property on Sheikh Mohammed's portfolio is the Dalham Hall. Dalham Hall is a 3,300-acre estate that was bought by the Sheikh in 2009 for about $55 million. It was once owned by Cecil Rhodes, the British industrialist who founded the diamond mining corporation De Beers. Sheikh Mohammed has a thing for very large properties, as another of his estate in Western Ross, Scotland, covers an enormous 63,000 acres of land. The estate comes with 14 bedrooms and helipads for three helicopters, and it is just a vacation home. Sheikh Mohammed also owns properties in some of London's most exclusive neighborhoods, including Kensington, Knightsbridge, and Belgravia. In 2013, he purchased a property worth $20 million in Belgravia's Eaton Square, which was part of the estate of the Duke of Westminster. As if that was not enough, the Sheikh bought Rutland House in London's upscale Knightbridge neighborhood, which boasts six floors, a pool, an aquarium, and a home theater, all for the price of $75 million. All these just go on to show how the Sheikh of Dubai loves to live largely. Sheikh Mohammed owns a 531-foot, $350 million vessel named Dubai, which is one of the most expensive yachts on Earth. The luxury yacht features seven decks and enough luxury accommodations for 24 guests and 80 crew members. The Sheikh of Dubai has also been very active on the humanitarian front with donations of $5 million to the World Trade Center Victims' Appeal. In 2007, he made one of the largest charitable donations in history when he donated $100 million to set up Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Foundation. 
Sheikh Mohammed is one of the most influential persons in the world of horse racing and breeding. He has a deep passion for the sport, and when he was still a teenager, he admitted that he spent all his money on train tickets from Cambridge to Newmarket to watch horse races. In 1996, he launched the Dubai World Cup, which is held at the Maiden Racecourse with a staggering prize of $12 million. Due to the love he has for the sport, Sheikh Mohammed has invested over $720 million in horse racing in the form of studs and stables. He currently owns Darley Stud, the world's biggest horse breeding operation, which has its headquarters at the estate in Dalham Hall, Surrey. Darley Stud, named after the Darley Arabian horse, also has locations in Ireland, the United States, Australia, and France. One of Sheikh Mohammed's biggest contributions to the sport is the founding of Go Dolphin Racing, a thoroughbred horse racing stable named after the Go Dolphin Arabian. Since it was established, the stable has won over 5,000 races and several awards in G1. Sheikh Mohammed got married for the first time in 1979, and his wedding broke the world record for the most expensive, and it held that title for a few years. The wedding cost almost $100 million and lasted for a month. It ended in a ceremony that featured 20,000 guests. To host that incredible number, a special stadium was built for the guests. However, it was Sheikh Mohammed's sixth marriage to Princess Haya of Jordan that shows how much royals can spend when it comes to marriage. The pair got married in 2004 and divorced in 2019, which officially set the record for the most expensive divorce in history, coming in at an outstanding $730 million. After the divorce, Princess Haya is to receive $7 million for vacations and security costs till the year 2068. She also received $2.5 million just for kitchen renovations at her $140 million Kensington townhouse. While Princess Haya was still married to Sheikh Mohammed, she was given $150 million annually to run her household along with a monthly allowance of $20 million. She was also a horse lover, and during her marriage to Sheikh Mohammed, she bought almost 400 racehorses, 60 of which she owned, and was paid $100 million as compensation. Princess Haya also enjoyed a jewelry collection worth $85 million during her marriage with Sheikh Mohammed, and when they split, she was given $20 million for jewelry and $1.5 million for her wardrobe. Sheikh Mohammed is also known to go really big on vacations as one of the trips to Italy cost him around $850,000 and just the hotel bill for another vacation in Greece cost $311,000. The children of Sheikh Mohammed are not in any way left out of their father's extravagant lifestyle. Sheikh Mohammed's children with Princess Haya receive an annual allowance of $15 million each. His first son and the Crown Prince of Dubai, Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid, is worth $400 million, which just shows how generous the Sheikh of Dubai is with his children. The lifestyle of the ultra-rich is something normal people can only dare to dream of. That's also the case for the richest kings in the world, who you can meet by clicking on this video.